In this video, we are going to explore context management in OpenAI agents. So there are basically two kind of context management are available. One is going to be the local context management and another is going to be agentic or LLM context management. So what's the difference between these two context management? So basically when we talk about the local context management, then all that information, whatever we are passing in a local context, then that information is not going to be visible to LLM. And this particular context management is going to be very beneficial in maintaining the metadata like logging configuration etc or certain dependency that we do not want to pass it to LLM but it is required for your application. In another case where this local context management could be useful is passing that sensitive information to LLM. There could be like certain IDs or certain characteristic which we do not want to pass to LLM but again that is required for your data or application perspective. Now how we can enable this local context management so for that we are going to use something called run context wrapper in OpenAI agent SDK. Whereas in this LLM context management, this particular information is going to be visible to LLM. The context is basically going to pass in the form of conversation history. So LLM can only see the information which is there in its conversation history and it cannot see any other information. So if you want like certain information to be part of LLM context, then there are these options that we can use it under OpenAI agent SDK. So we can pass our information in the form of instructions as we have seen in our earlier videos. We can also pass it in input under runner.run. Basically we use this input to pass our query. So that is also going to be visible to LLM. Other option using which we can pass context to LLM is using the function tool and this is going to be on-demand context. And why we are calling it on-demand context? Because LLM model is going to decide like at which particular point it has to call this particular function. As we have seen in our earlier video, we were using weather tool to get the real-time weather information. So when we were asking for a real-time weather information, then LM was going ahead and calling this function tool. So the information which is going to come out of that function tool is also going to be passed to the context and that is going to be visible to LLM. On top of that, there are some special tools which is available in OpenAI agent SDK like web search tool. This also we have to pass it under tools category only and using this also whatever information is being retrieved from web can also pass as a context. So we have already explored these three items over here in our earlier video so we know like how to pass all this context to LLM. In this particular video we are going to focus on passing the local context management or for that we are going to quickly go to our visual studio. So here you could see I have created one file context.py and we will start by writing a very simple agent. So as we know we have to import our agent first and then we have to create our agent. So we are going to create our agent and I'm just going to name it explorer agent. After that we have to pass our instructions which is going to act as a system prompt for this particular agent. So I'm just going to say you are an expert in providing travel guidance to users and I'm going to say you are going to, to provide two cities name for the exploration. So first of all, we are not going to pass any kind of local context to this particular agent. Whatever we are passing as of now, like instruction and everything, this is going to be visible to LLM. All these are LLM context rather than local context. To run this one, as you know, like we have to use runner package. I'm just going to say run sync and then I'm just going to pass this agent and I'm just going to ask where should I go in India. So we have to print the output as well. So I'm just going to use final output and let me just rerun the code. So you could see like it has given me two options. Consider visiting Jaipur and Varanasi. Jaipur known as the pink city and Varanasi is one of the oldest city. So this is the recommendation that it has given. Now let us try to modify the response whatever we are getting as per user preference. Now that's where the local context management is going to help us because using that we can modify the response based on the consumer's preference. Now how we are going to achieve it? So for that actually I'm just going to write additional code in this helper.py file. So first of all, we have to define our user profile and to define our user profile, we are going to use something called data classes. This would help us to create a class for users. So let me just import data classes. And from here, we are going to use data class and then using this data class as a decorator, we are going to define our class and I'm just going to say user and under this user, we are going to make things very simple. So first parameter, what we need to define is going to be name. What is the name of the user? Then I'm just going to ask like 
weather preference this is also going to be a string so let's consider id is going to be sensitive in this case this is going to be of integer and now our user profile or user class has been defined and to use it under local context we have to define a method so that method is going to give us a user preference so i'm just going to say preference and under this to get the local context we have to use something called run context wrapper so before actually we can use the run context wrapper we have to import it from our agent package so i'm just going to import it from our agent package and i'm just going to call it run context wrapper now once you have the run context wrapper we can just directly pass it over here and we can access it using this wrapper variable so i'm just going to use that now we can pass the values dynamically from outside and we can retrieve it using this run context wrapper so first thing what i want to retrieve is name so i'm just going to say wrapper dot context and we know like we do have a name in our user class so i'm just going to say get so this would give me a name and then i'm just going to say give me preference what's the preference of this particular user and again i can do it using this then we can just go ahead and return the output for our llm we can just pass this message like this particular user prefers this particular weather and we know like if we are defining any kind of method and we want our agent to access it then we have to put it under function tool again whatever information we are putting under function tool as we have seen in our diagram that is going to be visible to llm so so I can just invoke the function tool like this and now our agent can use this particular function so here you could see actually whatever information we are passing only that llm can use it when it decides to call this particular function dynamically as we are not passing id information under this function tool so this is not going to be visible to llm so now just let me go ahead and use this particular tool in our main function so i will just go to context.py and now we know like how to pass tool over here so i'm just going to say tools now i have to import that function i have to to import it from our helper class and then i can import user and get user preference and i can pass this get user preference now actually our agent has access to this particular tool which we have defined and because in this case we have to pass a context you must be wondering where exactly we have to pass our context so context is something which we can pass it under this runner class so if we go over here you could see okay here we do have the context so before we can pass the context in this case we have to define a profile and that we are going to do it so i'm just going to call it user info and i'm going to use this user class which we have defined earlier and this is like one of the sample information which we are passing over here so name is going to be john weather preference is going to be cold and id is going to be one and now because once we have this profile ready i can pass this context over here so this is going to be user info you may be wondering when we are passing the user info over here and this user info contains the name weather preference and the id as well so is it going to be visible to llm in this case because all this information is coming out of local context so this is not going to be visible to llm so whatever we define under context this is not at all going to be visible to llm but there are certain fields which we have defined under function tool which is going to be name and weather preference so this information is definitely going to be visible to llm because we have defined a function tool on top of this method so llm can make a call to this particular function and the output whatever it's getting it would be having visibility to those information so in that case it can see the name it can see the weather but it cannot see the id so that's the benefit of using the local context management because there could be a certain scenario in your application where you have some sensitive information you may have like some specific ids which you do not want to pass to llm but that is required from your application perspective so you can pass the additional information to the llm and then you can get the output and tied it back to that particular id now we are going to modify the response whatever we were getting earlier based on the user preference now let me just go ahead and try to run this code but before running this code i just need to convert this to james so that we can get the output as per james reference so i will just save it and now i will just go ahead and try to rerun the code okay so i could see still the output is not as per our requirement because james prefer the cold weather so there is some problem in fetching the preference so i can go over here the, instead of calling this i can just convert it to name and here i can just directly call it to weather preference and this should work let me just go to main code again and try to rerun this 
and now you could see for someone who prefers the cold weather like James I would recommend exploring Shimla and Manali so now we are getting the output as per the James reference we have modified the output as per user preference using local context management instead of cold weather if James likes sunny weather then I should be able to get the output as per this preference so I'm just trying to rerun the code and this time the output should be as per this particular preference so here we could see in the output for a sunny exploration in India James can consider consider Jaipur and Goa whereas when the preference was cold we are getting the output like Shimla and Manali. That's where it's going to be very useful. That's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.